Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Corkless Gaming, where we don't have quirks of our own, but that doesn't stop us from going plus ultra, bringing you top quality content for all your nerdy needs. I'm your host, Zelly, and on today's episode, we are continuing our adventure with Jump Force playing through as All Might. On last episode, uh, we went through a couple extra missions, were able to recruit some new people. Uh, we ended up having to fight Toguru uh, quite a few times, actually, in multiple versions of him. So that was probably one of the most intense battles we've been in, but definitely one of the most fun so far. We also met Kane, uh, one of the main antagonists in this uh, game series. That's the one creating the red cubes. Um, or the black cubes and controlling other people making them turn crazy and the ones we're having to fight and then later cure to recruit uh, So we finally got to meet him and then he ended up um, Putting one of those black cubes in Gara. So we had to fight Gara as well But Gara wasn't as tough of a match to fight as uh, Toguru was um, So it was quite exciting. Um, I do have some news for you guys last episode. I was a little confused by um, What the the, the blue missions were compared to the red missions. I'm not sure if I said it in the last episode or not, if I did figure it out then, but I was able to finally figure out what those mean. What those are for is it's uh, missions that have to do with like characters you've already met. It's kind of like character development missions or other missions pertaining to them. So it's not like DLC content or anything like that I found out. Um, so that's kind of cool. So we, like I said last episode, we left off having to fight those guys. Um, so we'll just go ahead and pick up right where we left off. We'll go over here to the mission counter See what we've got for key missions we'll Check some of these out the Pegasus Knight Passing one's craft Substitute Soul Reaper a Bright youth hero applicant the one without magic bond of brothers I'm here Huh? I wonder if I'm here has to do with All Might. Hero Applicant may have to do with Azuku Midoriya. Um, Substitute Soul Reaper is definitely Ichigo. Um, yeah, I think we just, we'll start with this one, just start going down the list. Oh, nice. So it looks like we get to take Sasuke with us on this one. Alrighty, I called you all here to tell you about new potential member of Jump Force. Sorry, not interested. Well, that's typical Sasuke. At least hear me out. When his home world was threatened by the Venoms, he was among those to stand up and fight. But now, he's under the control of a black cube, just like Vegeta was. Where is he now? New York. This will be a dangerous mission, but I know you're up to the task. Ch fine, I'll do it. All right, so Harold and me have also been playing One Punch on the channel, um, even though the game is made by the same company. They do have different controls, so I'm trying to remember these controls. It may take a little bit to get used to, so I apologize if I'm making any silly mistakes here. I'm trying to remember everything on on how everything works for this. All right, I think I'm starting to figure this out again. There we go. Nice, we got him. I always forget about my ally that I've got with us. Oh, shoot. I don't know if I'm going to be able to block this one. Alright, I was. Nice. Nice, good job. Here we go, here we go. Shoot, can we get it? Nice. Able to finish there. Not the prettiest win, but like I said, just getting used to these controls again. But uh, that's another W in our book, so we'll go ahead and continue from here.
He may have lost consciousness, but he sure remembers how to fight. Do it, All Might. Retrieving Umber's Cube. Well done, Sasuke and All Might. You must be Seiya. Welcome to Umber Space. I apologize for the trouble I have caused you all. You're still hung up on that? Just forget it already. The only thing that matters is the future. You're right. Thank you. Sorry I'm late. Just what we needed. <laughs> hey, Director. Who's the new Team Gamma member? I'm Pegasus Seiya, one of the Saints of Athena. It's an honor to meet you all. Alrighty, perfect. So we've got a new recruit member here now on the team. Um, we're just going to keep continuing with the story here. Not free missions, key missions. The Dragon Knight's up next, so we'll go ahead and check this one out. Oh, nice. So we just recruited him, and now we get to take him on his first mission. All right. So take a look at this footage. Shiryu, what's he doing here? So it's true then. This man is a saint just like you. Unfortunately, he is too, or he too is under the control of a black cube. Send me, director. I'll save Shiryu. I swear it. I believe you, but I can't send you alone. What? Shiryu is both your friend and a saint who matches you in power. If two such powerful saints were to use all their might against each other, don't you think that it would be dangerous on your own? How do you know that, Director? I'll tell you later. All Might, I'm sending you as well. I know I can count on you. Cheer you. This is the sanctuary. None shall pass. Cheer you. Don't you recognize me? Have you forgotten your sworn oath as a saint? Shiryu, come back to your senses. Alright, so now we get to battle this guy, and I apologize if I'm pronouncing his name wrong as well. Um, I've never seen this anime that he's a part of. There we go. Snag him with that one. Bam. Go ahead and charge up. Oh, shoot. Looks like he transformed here. But it didn't do anything. Alright, nice. Go ahead and charge up while he's at a distance. Put some pressure on him. Whoa. So it looks like he's got a distance. See if we can snag him here. Nope, we didn't. Shoot. He's still in his transformed state here, his waking state. That's pretty cool. Oh, shoot. He got us there. Alright, getting pretty close match here. What? Some of these grabs I don't get, like how they're able to just grab us, but we're not able to grab them. Wait for him to come in close, we're gonna hit him with the- oh no, I think I did it too soon. Yep. No! Shoot, we got him! Well that's game here guys, nice. Another one in the books, we'll go ahead and wrap it up. Bam! There we go. Finished. That was another close one. These guys are definitely starting to get a lot tougher, but like we've talked about in previous episodes, that's what we want. We want to keep that engagement going. Um, definitely keep us on the ropes and uh, keep us interested in the game, so that's definitely what we're looking for. Ugh. 
Curio means business. He's not holding back one bit. So, this is a clash between two evenly matched saints. Uh, 1,000 wars. Don't worry, director. The next attack will end it. Oh, I thought we were about to have to fight again, okay. So, retrieving Umber's Cube. Well done, all of you. You have my thanks, All Might. If it had only been Seiya and I, we may well have fallen prey to the Venoms. So tell me, Director, how did you know what was going on with us? I had the advice of someone who knows you both well. What? Who is it? I'm sorry, but they've asked that I not reveal their identity. Consider it the will of a goddess, Athena. You're joking. Yes, this might be her will indeed. Share you, don't you want to know the truth? All I know is that amidst all the madness, you and I were brought together. For that, I give all my thanks to Athena. Yes, you're right. As a saint, I, Dragon, share you, give my pledge to fight as a member of Gym Force. We're fortunate to have you. Alright, perfect. So two more recruits there. Nice. And both of them are from that same anime series. Uh, like I said, I'm not familiar with that anime. That's one I'll definitely have to check out. So again, I do apologize if I am pronouncing any of their names wrong. Uh, please don't give me too much hardship on that. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and continue with the story here. So continue with the key missions. Passing on one's craft. Let's check out this one and see who we're going to have to fight now. Okay, nice. So we get to bring Trunks on a mission with us this time. So, All Might, Trunks, we picked up the Venom signal in New York. It's a strong signal, so there may be new warrior from the Jump Worlds there. Come on, All Might. Man, the city is a wreck. The Venom signal came from around here. I'll search over here, so you go that way, All Might. No need for that. Who are you? My name is Kenshiro, and today is the day you die. Well, this guy's huge. Is a cube controlling him? Thanks to you, my world was engulfed in flames. Innocent lives snuffed out. Now, you'll pay for that with your lives. Wait, it wasn't us. You're being controlled. You're wrong. This black aura you see is the power of grief. In my resolve to do battle in the name of love. Damn. Looks like we've got no choice but to fight. Let's go, All Might. Alright, so we've got another fight on our hands here. Um, it's kind of interesting how they're how quickly they are just throwing in characters into, into the mix here. New people to check out. Oh, shoot. This dude is hella fast. And I'm not familiar with this guy either. That's pretty crazy. I wonder what happened. I had a, all my stuff charged up and it seems to have disappeared. Interesting. Oh, shoot. I didn't want to switch to trunks. Charge this up real quick. Nice. Reliving that Frieza impact. There we go. This guy's not too bad. Trunks is a pretty good. Pretty good combat. Huh, that's kind of interesting. That dude didn't even try blocking from that far. Oh, 
This guy's getting some pretty decent hit hits on us, but it's not really doing a whole lot. We'll go ahead and return this back real quick. Bam. All right, awesome, another one in the books. Yeah, like I said, this guy's super fast. Uh, didn't really seem like much of a challenge though. Wasn't really blocking any of our attacks. Um, anytime he did get any of his specials hit on us, it didn't seem like they were doing a whole lot of damage, but that's all right. Uh, we'll go ahead and continue with this now. Kenshiro, I understand your grief. My homeland shared a similar fate. Your grief is real, but that power isn't your resolve to fight for love. It's the malicious will controlling you. All Might, get the cube. Kenshiro, I have a request for you. Will you join Jump Forces with us and help us save the world in the name of love? Oh, I said, will you join Jump Forces, but it's just, will you join forces with us? Very well. I shall fight by your side. Thank you. All right, so far the the story development's been a bit interesting. Um, it kind of seems like they're just throwing in these random events happening. Uh, you're meeting characters. There's no real major character development. You're just kind of fighting people that are controlled by Umbers Cubes um, and then recruiting them on your team. And that's, that's kind of about it. You're just traveling around the world doing this. Uh, I mean, graphics-wise, looks amazing. Um, combat style, amazing. But it's just, uh, the story development's just been a little weird. Uh, but, you know, this game is, is pretty new um, to the series for us playing it, at least. Uh, I think in total, for episodes, what are we at? Yeah, this is going to be episode number four for us. So it's it just could be it's so early in the story, we really can't form any, any opinions of it just yet. So I'll... With that being said, we're just going to go ahead and keep marching forward and just pick a new one to go ahead in and fight. So Substitute Soul Reaper, this is definitely Ichigo. I would put money on it, hands down. So let's go ahead and see if I'm right. There are reports of a young man giving off powerful black aura. I want you to investigate them right away. Is it someone from Jump Worlds like us? Most likely. His name is Ichigo Kurosaki. Yep, definitely called that. They say he has the power of a Soul Reaper, so be extremely cautious. A Soul Reaper? Sounds like Bowden. Hee <laughs> hee. It's all the same to me. Well, let's go, All Might. Nice, so we finally get to meet the third member of the Big Three, or um, including... Uh, Dragon Ball, it would be the fourth member of the Forbidden Four. So nice, we finally get to uh, meet him, introduce him to the storyline, and go ahead and fight him. So, I sent spirit energy, or is this demon energy? Anyway, it's gotta be him. The cube's power is swallowing him up. Come on. Let's go. Oh, nice. We gotta catch him real quick before you gotta let anything off. Nice. So that's kind of cool. Sword artist, get a fighting a sword style artist as well. Oh, shoot. See, I don't know how they do that, man. They just, like, dive around real quick before you even get a... You go to grab them, and they just kind of, like, bob and weave underneath you, man. It's crazy what they're doing. Oh, shoot. Man, I don't know what that move was, but that took out a lot out of me. Oh, shoot, he's calling his Bonkai. And get to. Oh shoot, hopefully he's not blocking it. Nice, okay. I don't know why he kept jumping as soon as I was trying to hit it, but we at least got this off, so this would be good. Shoot, I always forget about that support character. 
Let's see what help he can be here. And that was absolutely nothing. Oh, shoot. Nice, that worked out pretty well for us. Good, bring it on in, buddy. Nice, we got him here for the win. Alright, cool, we got some extra levels out of All Might as well. Or I guess one level, I just haven't been counting the others pointing them out. Uh, so nice, All Might is up to level 15. Now, All Might. Retrieving Umber's Cube. Where am I? Ow. You the guys who did this to me? We pack a pretty good punch, huh? You definitely snapped me out of it. Who are you guys? So, that's about it. My world's already been overrun by Venoms. Gotcha. It sounds like every world's got it rough right now. I don't know the details, but our soul society is concerned. They say it's dangerous for the jump worlds to be connected. So you've come to the real world to make contact with us. Pretty much. I can't believe I got taken over like that almost immediately though. You have nothing to be ashamed of. I need to reach deep and find the power within me. If I don't, our world has no chance against the Venoms. Well, all in this together. Oh, we're, well, well, all in this together. That's an interesting choice of words. Ichigo Kurosaki, Substitute Soul Reaper, at your service. All right, perfect. So now we've got Ichigo on the team. Now let's go ahead and just keep on continuing with these missions here. So a bright youth. I wonder who this would be. I wonder if this would be... We met Gone. So I wonder if this is Killua. I don't know, a bright youth. Let's go ahead and check this out. Nice, we get to take Piccolo on a mission with us. I don't know if we've taken him on any before, so this will be uh, pretty interesting. All Might, Piccolo, I want the two of you to head to Mexico. Oh, interesting. It seems that uh, Den Denzin of the Jump Worlds has wandered over there. Please hurry before the Venoms find them. Got it. Let's go, All Might. Where am I? No way. Yugi Moto. Nice, that's pretty cool. We're getting to introduce Yugi to the mix now. Thank you for joining me. Who are you? So Dio's made his appearance back, huh? So I am Dio. You should be honored that you've caught my attention. What's this all about? Your power. Would you show it to me? Why? What are you planning? Nothing to be afraid of. I want to introduce you to someone, the man who controls the Venoms. He's the one that called you to this world. Why you? Careful, I can sense the Venom's key. Oh no, Yugi's been taken over. Damn. We're too late. Let's do it, All Might. All right. Damn, sorry for this, Yugi, but we're gonna have to bust your ass up, buddy. Oh shit, looks like he's making a fool of me already. Nice, there we go, there we go. Dark Magician's no joke. Oh shoot. Dang, that was pretty cool. Nice. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. I guess those attacks move even if he's not moving himself. Let's see what gets this one first. Oh, shoot. What? Slifer, huh? See if I can block it. I don't know if I got it in time. Hands down, man. This guy has been the hardest guy we've had to fight so far. Like, it's crazy ridiculous this dude's power that he gets and like everything we do like that right there man like i hit the attack before he hit his but somehow he's just able to hit everything like that's crazy absolutely insane and the stuff he gets to do it's absolutely frustrating having to fight this guy Okay, so those obviously don't do anything unless he runs into them. And now he's gonna get Slifer to attack with. Yep, of course. So we're gonna be able to block this one, it looks like, but still gonna do a little bit of damage to us. Let's see who hits it first. Yeah, see, that's exactly what I'm talking about, man. Completely surprised we were even able to hit that. Now watch, this one's probably gonna miss, no lie. Wow, absolutely surprised at that hit. I can't even begin to... I lost count of how many times we had to fight this guy. Like, absolutely ridiculous, you know. The enemies are definitely starting to get harder, but this one was a little, like, way too far out there. Like, Toguru wasn't even a match compared to this guy. His long-distance battles, or his uh, long-distance specials, are just able to, like, cancel out yours. Piccolo takes a little bit to actually charge his up to send him off. It seemed like his didn't have any distance gap. His was able to hit you anywhere across the map. And then watching him, he's able to charge up his ability gauge so much quicker than yours. It it, it was a bit too much. Like, not, not even that fun. But we were able to get the W finally, so we'll go ahead and continue with the story. All Might, get the cube. Oh, look at All Might's eyes. Oh, <laughs> I definitely needed that laugh after that battle. Retrieving Umber's Cube. Ugh, ugh. Where am I? Are you okay? You are being controlled by the Black Cube. Controlled? Now I understand. And that's about it. This is our new Team Alpha member. Yeah, dude, this guy is definitely a Team Alpha member. Just overall, aggressive does not give you the opportunity to recoup. Um, I would honestly rate Yugi up there with like Blackbeard, um, just level of aggressiveness. If you can, if you can get his abilities going just in a nice flow all around, this is a top-notch player there. Um, Yugi Moto, glad to meet you. Dio told me something. He said I was called here by the man who controls the Venoms. If he thinks he can use me as a pawn in some kind of game, then he's in for a rude surprise. Wow, that one definitely took longer than expected, so we're going to try uh, speeding this one up here a bit. We'll go ahead and just continue with these key missions. Man, that was definitely one of the hardest we battles we've had so far. Uh, but Hero Applicant, my guess is this is going to be uh, a young Midoriya, so let's go ahead and check it out. 
Oh, nice. We get to take Boruto with us on this one. Hopefully it doesn't go as sad as the last time he was with us. But uh, take a look at this footage. Oh, no. Young Midoriya. He looks like a superhero. I can't believe anyone really goes around dressed like that. Yeah, I kind of feel that as well. I'm not a fan of the... Um, of Azuku's outfit. But it starts to get cooler in the manga. You're starting to finally get to see a development in his outfit in the anime. Um, the subversion, the dub, doesn't caught up yet, but it's it, it starts to get a bit cooler what his outfit starts to look like. Azuka Midoriya is way more than mere looks. He was personally selected by the greatest hero of the, his world and is undergoing training at the top rank Hero Academy. Yep, was selected by me to go ahead and take over one for all. So what's a guy like that doing causing trouble here? It means the Venoms are widening their sphere of influence. Well, yeah, but if we can save Azuka Midoriya, he will make a powerful ally for Jump Force. Okay, get to it. Oh no, young Midoriya. I didn't want to have to fight you. Huff, huff, I have to do this. I won't give up. I can't disappoint All Might. I'm right here, bro. You're not disappointing me. Bye. But I feel like you have to fight. Doing this is, is very sad to see. Poor kid looks so sad. Damn it. If it's too much for you, then quit. If you can't let the cube control you... Uh, <laughs> I apologize. You can't let the cube control you. That's not what a hero does. Believe me, I know how hard it is, fighting to live up to expectations. We've got to save him. Alright, the young Azuku Midoriya against the teacher, All Might. Let's see what's how this is going to go down. Let's see who's got the better Detroit smashes, buddy. Feel bad having to do this to you, but... See that thing right there, where they kind of just like... It's not like the other sidesteps that happen. Um, they just kind of like duck out of the way, man. Man, he's going crazy. Got him right there, though. Nice, Oklahoma smash. Charged up, ready to go. Uh oh, here we go. Nice. Why is... I don't know what's going on, but I feel like I can't call in my secondary like I should be able to. Oh shoot, I didn't realize how much damage he's been doing to me. I don't know if we'll get this off. Nope, you blocked it. Can we get him here? Come on, Boruto, help us out. There we go. Caught him. Sorry to do it to you, buddy. That Oklahoma smash to finish you off. All Might, do it! Retrieving Umber's Cube. Ugh. Don't worry, you're safe now. Well done, all of you. Welcome to Jump Force, Azuka Midoriya. We want you to fight alongside us and help save our worlds from the Venoms. I, I have no right to be a hero. I want to help people in trouble, and I can't back down from enemies right in front of me. But those feelings are what the Black Cube used to control me. No one here blames you for that. Maybe not, but I blame myself. I was too weak inside. I understand your feelings about what it means to be a hero. But this is your dream, so fragile that it can be crushed by a single defeat? My dream remains the same. 
I still want to follow in All Might's footsteps and become the greatest hero ever. That's more like it. Remember that, uh, and you'll be fine. Thank you. All right, so we were able to go ahead and recruit the young Azuku Midoriya to our team. Uh, now the All Might and his apprentice can battle together. Oh yeah, oh yeah, feeling it now. So nice, we're getting kind of close towards uh, wrapping up this episode. So let's go ahead, wait, extra missions. Limit Breaker, huh? Huh, that's something we just unlocked. I didn't think that was available last time, but we're not going to focus on that now. We're just going to go ahead and continue because we've only got a few more here left. So let's go ahead and try this one out. So the one without magic, try this mission. One without magic. Hands down, this is Asta from Black Clover. I'm calling it right now. A strange little punk, huh? Tell me more. Look at this video footage. Oh yeah, I knew it. See this young man with the huge black sword? He seems to be under control of a black cube, and yet, he's not fighting alongside the Venoms. All he does is practice his sword skills. He even threatens to slice up anyone that bothers him, including Venoms. So I guess you want me to find out what's up with this kid for yourself then. Yes, precisely. Got it, let's go All Might. I wonder what his deal is. Well, we'll know soon enough. All right, so it looks like we're not even gonna try talking to him at all. Just straight into fighting, which is cool by me, man. Doesn't seem to be engaging a whole lot though, but like, Asta's one of my, like, actual favorites to play in, in this game. Besides Blackbeard, um, I like Asta. He's a very aggressive player. You're able to really spam a lot of characters. Moves really quick around the map. Definitely, definitely one of my favorites to play at, as in this game, no doubt. There we go. Nice. Gotcha, bud. Sorry to do that to you. No doubt. That's broken, bud. Sorry. Sorry. No way. Sorry to do this to you as well. Man, it's crazy. Like, everybody's specials and all their abilities and stuff. It doesn't seem like ours really even do that much. Shoot, here we go. Block it. Come on. Go. Can we finish it? Nice. Now, do it, all mate. Retrieving Umber's Cube. Whew! Finally, I can move again. Thanks. So, uh... Who are you, anyway? This is All Might. We can talk more after we get back to the base. So my body was taken over by a black cube. My mind was still sharp as a dagger. Only your body was controlled, eh? Most unusual. Asta, do you have any idea why this happened? Well, I was born without magical powers, so maybe even the black cube didn't like that about me. Ah, I see. I don't believe that magic is relevant to the cubes, but... What's it matter anyway? This guy was tough enough to hang in there even when his body was possessed, right? That's all we need to know. True. We don't need heroes with the strongest of wills. Or we do need heroes with the strongest of wills. Awesome, so this means I can fight alongside you guys? Of course, Asta. Jump Force would be honored to have you. Great, you can count on me. 
All right, perfect. So we've got Asta now on the team. Let's go ahead and check to see the Undying Warrior. Um, I'll probably just do these ones another time because they don't they don't add to the story, I guess. Uh, maybe I'll record them if it is kind of important things. I'll go ahead and add those in, but this one just got added. The I think the other one was like a kid without magic or something like that, a child without magic. Um, so this one just got added. So we'll see if this mission here wraps up this chapter, and then after that, we'll just go ahead and wrap up the episode. So we received a report of a jump world uh, denizen that appears to be under the control of a black cube. I need you to head there right away. Who are we looking for? We believe him to be a swordsman named Kenshin Pamora. Oh, okay. He is also the legendary assassin known as the uh, Batosai the Manslayer. Batosai the Manslayer, a legendary assassin? He sounds awesomely strong. I can't wait to try fighting him. He would be a great ally if we could recruit him. Do whatever you must to bring him back to his senses. You can count on me. Come on, All Might. So that's Potosai the Manslayer. Yeah, bring it on. I love getting to play as All Might, but man, we gotta we gotta go as Asta. Man, this kid's just hella talented. Look at that. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Absolute madman. I just love getting to play as him. Like, just look at that, bro. Just absolutely just spamming him. That's all right, that's all right, we're doing okay. Finish. Yeah, that one definitely wasn't one of the tougher ones, but that's all right. All Might, do it. Retrieving Umbers Cube. Well done saving Kenshin Homer. Himura. Oops, I completely butchered that. All Might, Asta, you both performed extremely admirable. What's wrong, Kenshin? I had sworn never again to wield a sword as Batosa the Manslayer. Or Batosai. No matter the reason, I cannot forgive myself for breaking my oath. Ah, uh, that's no big deal. Check out where you cut me. It's barely a scratch. Work. Ow, ow, ow. Are you alright? Don't worry, being sturdy is the best thing I got going for me. A little thing like this is... Yeah, nothing at all. Even possessed, you still refrain from killing. You should be proud. But Tosai the Manslayer was nowhere to be seen. I am indebted to you. You risked much for an unknown wanderer like me. In return, my sword is at your service. Nice, so we added Kenshin to the lineup. Uh, looks like we've got another mission here. One more, and then those side missions as well. So I think actually this is going to be the one to wrap up the chapter here. So we'll go ahead and do this one, and hopefully this is going to be the last one to wrap up this episode. <laughs> あいつもこの世界に来てんのかどうもマッターホルンとメキシコという場所でほぼ同時刻に目撃されたという話じゃ。例のレプリカ。どちらにせよ。黒ひげがベノムズと接触したことは間違いないようじゃ。偽物だろ
あらでも減ってるのかん黒ひげについて俺も気にはなっていた黒ひげは俺たちの世界で暴れまくっている海賊の一人だ強いのかああうんざりすることなそうか長官からの通信ですそこにいたのかニューヨークでマーシャル D ・ティーチ通称黒ひげの襲撃が確認されたベータチームと共に出撃してる気をつけろ黒ひげは目的のためなら手段を選ばねえ偽物だろうが本物だろうが気を抜くなせや<笑>誰にも俺を止められねえのさ Oh, don't tell us that it's just us by ourselves. This is gonna be a crazy fight. Yeah, yeah, this is gonna be a tough one. Oh, shoot. Okay. This is definitely gonna be a bit of a hard one. Um. Blackbeard's my all time favorite character to play as when I'm just like like battling and stuff. So, I like doing、uh, those like extra missions and things like that. So, no doubt, this, is, this one's gonna be a little tough. It doesn't hit him, it seems. I don't know if his darkness is just like sucking it up as soon as I go to like. Shoot at him? Oh shit. Oh no! I gotta get away! Ooh, that's the issue with him. You gotta. He's just so overwhelming as well. And、it looks like we're doing okay. We beat him, but there's probably more replicas to come. I'm not gonna lie, seeing how you know we had to do that with、uh, Toguru, so let's see. そそれよりも麦わらてめえの方こそどうなんだどこの馬の骨ともわからねえ連中とつるんでるようじゃねえか海賊をやめて仲良しごっこでも始めたかぜやこれも忙しいんだ甘えよ麦わらあいつは本物の黒ひげだ一体何考えてんだはい、それは、そうそう、そうそう、そうそう、そうそう、そうそう、そうそう、そうそう、そうそう、そうそう、そうそう、そうそう、そうそう、そうそう、そうそう、そうそう、そうそう、そうそう、そうそう、そうそう、そうそう、そうそう、そうそう、そうそう、そうそう、そうそう、そうそう、そ Nice, so a couple different more that we'll, we'll have to play, but、um, we'll, we'll stop there for this episode. But、uh, yeah, that was definitely not as hard as I thought it was going to be. Like I had said,、um, with Blackbeard, that's one of my favorite characters when you're playing these, the free missions and stuff like that, when I'm trying to just level up characters, as well as when I'm playing against other people.、Um, just you can get some pretty sick combinations going with him and just take out like over half. Um, half to over half of somebody's health just instantly in a matter of seconds with him. But man, this dude just keeps running around here quick as heck. 
Um, so I'd say honestly, out of everybody we fought, Yugi Moto was probably the hardest one. He is, he was definitely a, quite a bit of a challenge. It took me more than once to have to, to try to beat him, but I'm gonna edit that out since this video itself has been kind of long. Um, so we'll go ahead and take that chunk out. So to, to shorten this up, because this is going to be one of the longer videos of the series that we've had so far. But, uh, you know, I think that's it for this episode. We are going to go ahead and wrap it up. Um, but before I do go, uh, you know, as usual, guys, I got to say, if you are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as clicking on that bell icon. That way you are notified each time we do post new videos on the channel so you can stay up to date with everything like that. Uh, if you did enjoy this episode or if you checked out some of our other episodes and you've enjoyed the content on there, go ahead and leave a like and a comment. Let us know what you think about it and what you'd like to see on future episodes. Uh, without further ado, guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. But before we go, as usual, always remember, go beyond plus ultra. Much love, guys. Signing off. We'll see you next time.